Hey, hey developers, today we're going to have a quick get start guide with Storybook. Now, Storybook is a UI development environment where you can test your UI. You can also take basically all the components that you have. You can kind of lay them out like a book. So you can kind of get a, a really easy way to, dis, to see what your, your visual styles of your web app looks like. And you can kind of almost create a style guide out of it. So we're going to take a look at that. Before we begin, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Let me tell you guys about this amazing team management tool, Monday.com. Now, Monday.com is perfect for any size team. Doesn't matter if you have two freelancers working together or thousands of collaborators across the globe. It's perfect for any of those scenarios. It's also great for development teams and non-development teams. So you can have your HR production. They can all use this tool to keep track of everything they need to do in their everyday work. It's very intuitive. You can connect people to processes. It's colorful and very beautiful. It's really simple, but not simplistic. So I would recommend you guys check out monday.com. Make sure you click on that link in the description below and you can get a 14 day free trial. Make sure you check out monday.com. All right, so we're gonna jump into a demo. I'm gonna get into Visual Studio Code and we're gonna install the add-on and I'll show you guys how that works within inside Vue.js. We're not gonna get too in depth, um, but we're just gonna give some big basic generalities of how Storybook works and how to get it set up. So let's begin. All right, I have right here Visual Studio Code open with a brand new project. Now this is a brand new project just created using Vue CLI 3. I have the terminal open up here. If you're not familiar, Vue CLI 3, you can go to view or cli.viewjs.org and it'll tell you how to install it. And basically what you do is you do view, create, and then the name of the project and that'll get you up and running. So in this project, I want to go ahead and add in Storybook because I want to take a look at the features and see what we can use, what we can do to use it. So I'm going to use Vue UI just because we can. And what this is going to do is going to create a, a, a UI for us that will let us guide us through um, everything that you can do with Vue. So I'm going to drag this window over here and you can see here, this is Vue, U, uh, Vue UI. And what I need to do first is open up the correct project. So you can see there at the bottom, um, I have Vue New UI. Eric, this is not the right project. So I'm going to click here to go home and I'm going to import in my projects because actually you can create projects through this, but you also can create uh, import projects or create projects. But I'm going to look for the one I just created. You see I have a bunch of random ones I've created over the years. Here's my view storybook example. I'm going to go ahead and import this folder. And while voila, I'm actually inside my view storybook example that I just created earlier. And I'll make this a little bit smaller. So what I want to do is here, I can click on this button here and this will show the installed plugins that I have. And you can see from here that uh, when I installed it using Vue CLI, I chose the uh, Jest plugin. So it has, that's going to be my testing framework. I have ESLint in here. And we're not going to look at those today, but if I click add plugin, now I can search. So I'm going to see what Vue recommends for Storybook. So you can see here right at the beginning, there's a couple in here, Vue CLI plugin Storybook. Uh, there's also a few other ones, but I'm just going to choose the top one. Seems like the one that's used the most has over 10,000 downloads. Um, I also can click more info here and that'll bring up to GitHub and it'll show me how I do the installation. You could do this from the command line too, where I could just do a view add storybook, but it's kind of nice having it in here. So I'm going to click the install view CLI plugin and it's going to go ahead and install for me. And you can see down here from this other window, you can see it's kind of doing everything it's supposed to right there. So that's handy. And here's what the website looks like, by the way. If you go to storybookjs.org, you can see all the information about it. So we'll just give this a minute. Okay, looks like it's done here. And it kind of gives uh, an idea. If you look down here, you can see here's the new files that I added, add a new config folder, storybook where I can add add-ons, config.js. I even added kind of a, a component, a sample component, my button even created a stories file. So it kind of added some stuff we needed to. You could see here, it'll tell us it changed six files in the UI here. And then it gives us, uh, you can see here the import in the storybook add-on for register. Um, you can see the changes it did to the convict.js. It also uh, it added in the package.json file, a storybook build and a storybook server, cause we'll need that. 
which is perfect. And then it added the dev dependencies for added the add-on actions, add-on links, and the storybook. And then here's this template it, it added for the button and the index story.js. And this is uh, important. So the stories, it gives us, uh, this add-on gives us a basic story just to see how it works. And this is how you're gonna add stories inside your app. Um, so we'll take a look at this a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit the changes and I'll say storybook. And that'll go ahead and add it. Now you can see here it's on my list of plugins, which is perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and kill the server here. Now, you saw earlier that it actually did create a change to our package.json file. So if we go here to our package.json, excuse me, I'm going to open up the latest one. Here it is. You see I have a storybook build and a storybook serve. So let's try that out. So we're going to do view or npm run storybook serve. And that'll go ahead and open up a port on 6006, it looks like. It's gonna compile everything for us. Now, let's see if it opens up for us. Cool, so it opened up. And here's Storybook. Um, so this is, so if we go back into our source stories index, you can see here, this is what it does for you. So you can load any of your components inside here you can um, you can pass in the props and everything to it, and you can pass in any methods that you have. You can do it with uh, text. You can even do it with JSX. You see here's the render function. Don't worry about that if you're not using, you can use JSX with Vue.js. It's not really idiomatic, but you can, and you can even use it with emojis. So that brings it up here, and now we have our hello button. You can see the action logger at the bottom with JSX. Um, here's the different, see once again, we has their clicked at the bottom. Um, so yeah, you can see here it's working as we expect it, which is pretty cool. And we could basically, what we could do here is we can put every single Vue.js component in here and then be able to, we can even export it so one of our designers can see it. Um, and it kind of be, it could be a great visual representation of our app. Um, and if you click storybook, goes to the website here, and you can say show search toggle atom panel position toggle full screen toggle story panel, and so you kind of get an idea of everything inside here, which is uh, really neat that we can do that. Let's try another command. So that was the serve one. Let's see what the build looks like. So we have served. Let's try build. Okay, so it went ahead and built for us in our storybook static folder. So if we go to storybook static, you see here is our static folder. So let's go ahead and run this. I think I have HTTP server. Let's put it on 4005. Let's try this out, localhost 4005. All right, cool, here's our storybook that we exported out so we can you see this would be really cool. You could export this out and then hand it out without having the full functionality of the whole app to your designers or to your project management to show them, to show them the different components that you created and you can even, um, even show what happens when different effects uh, actions happen too. So that was a quick example of how to set up Storybook inside your Vue.js app. But of course, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. So I thought I'd show you guys some examples of other storybook sites that have full projects in them and show you what it looks like. So here's Coursera. Now Coursera uh, was a previous sponsor of mine, but you can see like this is just like you would have a book and you have different chapters. This is how they uh, deal with storybooks. So you can see here, um, here's the UI. Here's their themes that they have put in, their different typography that they've set up. They have design documents and everything they want. They show you what a basic button looks like to have all their different options in here. A split button, you can see this is the real power of Storybook. You don't just have to have like a single component in here. You can really ha show like different, like what different buttons do, the different looks and looks and feels. And this is kind of like a living design guide for your website. So at, at all times you can pull up Storybook and see how you're doing, how you're using these things. You can even put in like how to use information in for your basic pill. Um, 
you have even you have any links here to design document information too. Um, so, you know, I mean, this is pretty extensive. You can see each component. You can even test it out to see how it works. Um, select navigation. You can see this one tells you it's in production. So that's pretty neat. Uh, here's Gromit. Storybook for Gromit.io. You can see there how they do their different headers, their different radio buttons. Um, so it's pretty slick all together. I mean, this obviously is going to take time to write all these stories in Storybook. I mean, that's one thing you have to do is write it and put it in here. So you can see down here, they give you some information. This is obviously in React, but you can see here, this is the uh, content outside the collapsible box. You can see how this box works, even has the information about it inside the story here at the bottom. Uh, here's a paragraph. This is how they do their paragraphs. So you can see there's there's a lot of cool things that these guys are doing. Um, on top of, of creating this kind of visual storybook um, development environment, there's a lot of testing that you can add. There's a lot of testing add-ons. So if we go to, um, uh, let's see, intro to add-ons, there some of these add-ons work with Vue.js right now. Some of them don't. If you guys are really interested, maybe I'll try a few of them out. I know that the add-on had a few built in, but you can see here uh, talks you a little bit about um, add-ons here. Obviously, the most important ones is testing. I know you can do some structural testing through it, um, and there's really cool interaction te testing. I haven't seen anybody do enzyme testing with Vue.js with Storybook. I couldn't find any like really good tutorials on it. Otherwise, I would show you guys. But you can see here, yeah, interaction testing right here. Uh, you could take a look at. I know that you can do snapshot testing. I know some people have done that um, with you. Make sure you have you have to have Jest installed, and then in Jest um, with their. Uh, with Jest and with the Snapshot plugin installed, you can do that. Um, there's also some like integrations through like Chromatic and these, these services that help you do visual regression testing, which is pretty cool. Um, here's the Puppeteer and Jest example I was just talking about. You can use it to test with. So that's pretty neat. You can use Jest, uh, Puppeteer, Jest Puppeteer, and then you can basically make snapshots of it and then do kind of integration testing with Storybook on that way. So lots of cool things you can do here. Uh, I know you can do routing. So you can like have set up the router inside Vue.js and Storybook so that you can route inside your, your Storybook really easily. Um, so a lot of cool things with this. Definitely something I want to look more into. I've kind of just touched the surface of what this could be. And definitely maybe on my next project, I might set this up. Because you, as projects get more and more complicated, having like this visual testing kind of storybook on the side just to kind of look how each one of my components are set up and working uh, might be helpful and handy that I can easily look through in, in something like this. Let me know what you guys think of, of storybook. Like I said, I've only touched the surface of this, so this is just a quick introduction of it. And uh, let me know. Thanks.